Hi, I'm Lisa. And I'm Kent, and we're Living Light RV. We are grabbing life by the tail. Today we want to share with you some hacks that we've learned. Yeah. We've been on the road now for two and a half months, and figured out a couple of things that we want to share with you. Now, we did hesitate putting these on YouTube because they're pretty good hacks, and it might make life a little trickier for us if everybody does these. Yes. So keep it a secret. All right, here we go. Let's get right into it. All right, let's start with the planning stage. So when you are planning a trip, of course, there are lots of different resources you can use. Places like Campendium, freecampsites.net, um, Allstays, all those different places. But I've recently discovered a cute little hack from Google Maps. So if we're going to go from Gilroy, California to Palm Springs, California, and we're going to take our vehicle there, then this is the route that Google tells us to take. I-5, that's pretty boring all the way there. And we don't know how many hills we're going to have to go up and down to get there. But if you select the bicycle option, suddenly Google gives you another option, which is along the coast here. And if you go down here, oops, not what I meant to do. If you go down here, you can see the elevation change that will happen on that route. And it gives you a couple of options, usually, if you were going to take a bicycle, so you can see the different elevation options. That one is, is more elevation. So in this case, I would choose to take this route. Number one, it's, it's more scenic. And for another reason, that it is probably the flattest route. And when you're either towing a large trailer or when you're in a big motorhome like we are, well, we're not big, we're small, but still, fuel economy is a big deal. So doing the bicycle, um, option I guess on your Google Maps route will give you elevation it will don't only use that because it, it might block other routes where bicycles can't go but just use it as another tool in your toolkit for planning so during a storm when you're parked you don't want to be under some trees that are carrying such um, incredible armaments uh, these are everywhere throughout the park and when these start hitting your roof they're loud these ones too so anyways don't park under those trees don't arrive when it's dark you won't know where you want to park and it's hard in the winter times because it gets dark at about 4 40 in the afternoon which is uh, pretty early in the day so don't get caught trying to pull in and get the, the perfect campsite at nighttime. If you park close to the amenity buildings, you'll probably get some free Wi-Fi. So that's a, another hack. Uh, if you have an extender, you may even be able to connect to it easier. I have one right there up on my roof. Picking up a nice strong signal, getting free Wi-Fi throughout the rig and all, all of our uh, uh, computers. So that's one other hack. Okay, so one thing we've learned is that not all bathrooms are created equal. It is worth your while to go around the campsite, campground, and look for the nicest or the newest remodeled bathroom, whatever it is. And I just want to show you this bathroom. It's really cool because it's totally remodeled. Hopefully there's nobody in here. Hello? Okay, good. Nobody's here. Turn on the light. All right, so check this out. Isn't this gorgeous? I love it. So this shower system here, is totally redone. Yes, it is. It's just pretty. I like it. And bonus hack, and as you know, I hate spiders. When I go into a washroom and there's these shower curtains, I go like this. Just to make sure that there's no spiders on the shower curtain. Because if there are, and you do that, they'll fall to the bottom and you can stomp them out. So there you go. Check out all the camp bathrooms in the campground. Sometimes it's worth it to walk across the other side to find the nicest, cleanest, whatever it is, bathroom. So if you've been following us for any length of time, you know that I hate spiders. Spiders are just creepy and gross. Well, I think most people don't really like spiders. So one way to get rid of those is to get a spray bottle and some peppermint oil and some tea tree oil. And I put about 25 drops of each into this bottle and I fill it up with water. And then I just spray the whole rig. Like I spray all on the baseboards, I spray up on the vents, screens, I spray around windows, around the front door. 
underneath the rig in the what we call the basement and in the garage areas so that way it, it uh, this doesn't kill spiders it just kind of repels them so they can just go somewhere else where they're happier <laughs> so that's a good hack get rid of the spiders so when you live full-time in an rv like we do uh sometimes uh in some climates moisture becomes a big concern yeah condensation uh, on the windows inside yeah, because in the mornings the, the the water has condensated on the uh, on the windows, and that means uh, there's moisture in the cupboards, and there's moisture in the entire area, which has to be dealt with. Otherwise, so you get mold. Well, you don't want mold. You yuck. No, mo no mold. Or you could stop breathing. You could. Uh, <laughs> you could stop cooking. Cooking yeah. does it too. Yeah. Uh, so there's a couple things to take care of. Number one, you can buy a few of these. Yep. Put them in the back of your cupboards, and they will. Uh, collect moisture and then drip it to the bottom where it will stay and once it's completely solidly finished and you can tell that there's no more activity that can accomplish you throw it out and we overpaid for these uh, we bought them at the big store and then we saw them later at the dollar store dollar tree yeah yeah so dollar these. tree is the best place to buy these because they're the right price yeah so these will absorb moisture and another trick we learned another hack is to just leave a window cracked open a little bit so We've been doing that for the last couple of weeks and it does make a difference. Yeah. For sure. Way less condensation on the windows while we're sleeping at night to have the window cracked. So we got that tip from David and Jenny from Fade Unbound. Fade Unbound, yes. Thanks guys. So one of the challenges with RV life is that your tanks kind of fill up too quickly. And we have found that our black tank doesn't fill up as quickly as our gray tank does. When we're at a campground, we usually use the, the campground washrooms and it just doesn't fill up as fast so but i do a lot of dishes and we like to cook at home so that that's why the gray tank fills up faster so one of the hacks for that is to do your dishes in a dish pan this actually is the fridge pan so that actually is great so that's one last thing we have to carry around and we just when this is full dump it into the black tank through the toilet and that way the tanks fill kind of on a more even level and then we just go to the dump station less often so that's one of our kitchen dishes hack. So one other hack is when you make your coffee. Now it's time to clean this out. We don't just rinse it with water. We use coffee wipes. And that's it. Ready for the next cup of coffee. laundry hacks that I've learned. First of all, if you're going to get laundry pods, which are convenient because they're easy to transport from your rig to the laundry room, don't get the ones with powder in them. Make sure that you get the ones that are just liquid because I got powder ones once and it was gross. made a big sticky mess of my clothes. So liquid pods only. Um, with the dryers, quite often the dryers are stacked like this. So you've got lower dryers and upper dryers. Use the upper dryers because if someone else is using a lower dryer, heat rises so maybe that will help out a little bit and the best hack is if you have a dryer system that takes coins sometimes you can just add a couple extra quarters near the end of your of your cycle and just add a few more minutes to your dryer if it's not quite dry enough instead of having to start all over with a dollar fifty or dollar seventy five or two dollars or whatever it is so that usually only works with coins this one is not a coin op this one is card operated so can't do that hack here sometimes it works So you're out camping and you like dogs, but you don't have one with you uh, because you're living in an RV and you're like, ah, it doesn't quite work for us, it's not big enough. Well, you have an option. In uh, most campgrounds we've been to, other people have dogs. So if you stop and say hi and uh, how are you doing and oh, that's a nice dog. Uh, 
any chance I could take your dog for a walk? Uh, you might get the response of, yes, that would be wonderful. And there you go. Every day you'll have an obligation. Like me with, with Sam. Every day Sam and I go for a walk. Usually twice a day. Right, Sam? Sam, do you like going for walks? He's more interested in the squirrel right now. So we will continue on our walk. Hopefully you enjoyed those tips. And tricks. And tricks. And hacks. And hacks. If you did, give us a big thumbs up and go ahead and hit that subscribe button below if you yeah. haven't done so already. And thank you so much for watching and we will see you next week. And if you have a favorite hack that you know oh, yeah. that we need to know, because we're doing, not doing it right, let us know. Yeah, for sure. Thanks for your input. We appreciate this YouTube community and have a great day.